Rob, here we've got a chip and run. We've got about 50 feet of green to work with. Our ball's just off the side of the green. And there's a lot of different ways we could hit this shot. Let's, let's talk about how you might approach this shot. No problem. The key is to get the ball on the ground quick and rolling. Right here we have a pitching wedge. I'm going to stand close to the ball. My hands are high and the ball is a little off the toe. This way I'll take off the spin and get the ball rolling. Very nice. Notice how close he's standing to the ball. I see far too many amateurs standing much too far away from the ball. The closer you stand, better chances of making better contact. So that was a wedge. We're going to go to a nine iron now. And Rob's going to hit the same shot with a nine iron. I'm going to have the same distance away from the ball. Hands are high again, off the toe. Maybe a little less shaft lean. The ball should come out a little lower. So what he's doing by keeping the heel of the club off the ground is that heel won't dig and the toe will lead and let the ball run out. Now we're going to go to a 7 iron. Notice how high his hands are, the shaft's fairly vertical here. And again, the object there is to get that ball rolling like a putt. Nice job, Rob. Thanks. So when you're at home, experiment with different clubs. Find out which clubs suit you. And that's going to really help you chip those balls really close to the hole and save your strokes.